we have already built. So I just say that uh, try to enjoy the program and try to gain knowledge as per the matter. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. Now I request our local coordinator, Professor J.T. Adam, to kindly come over and address the gathering with five words. So please. Respected by Chancellor, Mr. P.T. Punia, and the Indian President, Professor J.T. Adam, our guest, Dr. Bolu. Course coordinator, Dr. Chukla, my very colleagues from the different departments and faculty, dear students. It is our precious uh, thing that uh, this is the first young program, and so far uh, in our university, we have sanctioned three young programs. One more program sanctioned, and it is going to be recently to be held during the month of December for that. So we have submitted the Eight proposals and out of these eight proposals, the three have been sanctioned, and this is first program we are going to run, and uh, now four under review. So, with these words, I thank all of you by consulting because our uh, uh, all of you are delayed. Thank you very much. Dean Faculty of Life Sciences Professor Pushpa Dhaya has already conveyed her best wishes to us. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now I request uh, Dean Academic Affairs, Professor A.K. Rajin, to kindly come and bless us to these kind words. So please. Respected Professor A.K. Rajin, the Academy College Chancellor of this University. Dr. Liu Hao, our guest and the experts in the first GAN program, local coordinator Professor J.P. Yadav, host coordinator Professor Shukla, being life sciences, being physical life science, uh, physical sciences, my most esteemed and respected professors and faculty, and the learning and parenting and eager to have season to learn their field of origin for the participants to share from the various universities. I welcome you all to this land of Nashi Diamond University's philosophy. This is one of the, this has been declared the greatest university very recently in India. And Apart from being business university, it is an issue where uh, various kinds of uh, ethical, related and ethnologic issues, they are very pertinent to bear. And one thing which I want to share with those who are from our uh, part of the country and to our esteemed <coughs> Professor Liu Hao, that this university has been maintained to generate and disseminate knowledge and any of research in the field of rationality. And this is very heartening to note that all the three programs in under Gap, they are related to the sector of rationality. Gyan is a big form which has helped us to have interaction with the international faculty. And that way, the vision of the university is being fulfilled. Although we have requested and uh, our Vati Vice Chancellor has also instructed that every academic event should start with vision and mission of the university. The vision of the university is that the university aspires to be the leading transformative learning community. It recognized worldwide for its teaching, research, and service. So, to become a worldwide from leading you know, community, we say transform the society and serve the people. This kind of international interaction, they are very imperative, 
very essential because this will not only enhance the knowledge level of the university participants, but it can also showcase our research and talent to outside your world. So I again welcome Dr. Liu Hao to this university and wish a very warm uh, great success to this program. Thank you so much. Now I invite our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Professor Vijayendra Tripura, to kindly bless us with his kind words and come here for the inaugural address. So please. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Thank you. How are you? I am the president of the program of the Metabolism of India. Here I am the president of the program of the program of the my other colleagues, participants, body researchers, students, every gentleman. It's indeed a proud moment for we people that we are organizing the first gas program. Though after so it take a big place, yes. We are organizing. And for an object is that in continuity we will organize more programs, one, two, three, four, and next two, three months. Before I speak on this team, let me acknowledge these facts. I joined 13 months ago. Then we are going to our knowledge. Team took over. Took place in between, and other things took place, and finally, the world first gathered. So, I acknowledge the contribution of each one and every work, I mean, the predecessors, for the earlier grant coordinator, maybe Professor Ajay Yadav, Professor Ajay Raja, Professor Kongla Bhatra, now Professor J.P. Yadav, and the whole team of the university. Ultimately, we have reached one step of the destination. It is not the final destination. It lets you find the world that unity came into the United States. And the prime mandate of popularity has been to deserve and conserve environmental issues. Prime focus on the life and secondary. And the unity has been nothing more issues related to the life and the environment and many things have been done by keeping in view the vision of the university and the mandate of the university which came into the United States. In the span of 42 years, we have kept long but we have to go much power. We have not defined that in this case. It's just a step. The theme for the present GAN program, which is the great child of our business prime minister, Modi Ji, yeah, global initiative for a second paper, that people on a coffee floor, they should come and interact on the idea which can be of local use and which we can talk with local needs as well. The first kind of program that we could get that has been on several of it at some point. Then you might be knowing the challenges of the future, they are related to environment. And environmental pollution is not controlled, it's going to take a disastrous situation where any human beings will find it difficult to treat. 
keeping that in view, keeping vision of the unity in view, we have been working. And in this series, the first program on cellular logic and all is being conducted. Very, we learn many things. When we talk of pollution, fuel, different types of fuels for energy if you are using. They could be considered as major, a major contributors in energy pollution. We need to have always sources of energy, always sources of fuel. And then the present theme will help us. We can have alternate fuels in the form of biofuel. And in this program, our scholars, our particular researchers, and students, they learn the different technical challenges which are involved in specialization with regard to cellulogic at all, and also to explore the possible solutions for this process. Then, the program of one week will also explore innovations and industrial applications of ethanol. Then, the case study which will be deliberated upon here <coughs> is not only about the interest of the researchers for future researches, but they will also explore how the role and lines can be used in the industrial organization. And one more issue which will be deliberated upon that will be <coughs> research idea in this line. So the second of one week program, workshop of one week, one of the important things is bound to put a stepping stone, keeping in view the vision and rationale of the university and on this part, on this occasion, while welcoming it all, I also thank our director of the University Computer Center, Dwarka and his small team that they are taking every year that whatever we take a that goes to the masses. This is the type of outreach, how we are reaching to, to those who are not disabled on one to one basis, they can also have the benefit of our value from this quality interaction with the high school. It is what once again I welcome you all. I put my appreciation for all those who have been who had been associated with the GAN program and in future we expect to have many, many more programs. And ultimately, the improvisation of the university will take place and one day the time is not far off that international university and national university will become cyberism in the eyes of the German government. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you so much for coming to the course. We assure you that we bring knowledge to the university and to the nation. Now moving to our technical program, we will be having the first lecture of this workshop that is the introduction to biochemistry by Dr. Harvey. Biofuel, biofuel is the urgent need of the hour to fulfill the demand of the Jewish population which is increasing at an alarming rate. We are currently 6.7 billion people on the globe and our number is expected to shoot up to 8 billion by 2030. And this huge population is dependent on fossil fuels for the energy demand. And fossils, as we all know, are non renewable sources of energy and they exhaust fuel. So, in the present scenario, the use of cellulosic ethanol as biofuel is the most suitable alternative for the fossil fuels. Cellulose is the most conventional organic polymer in our So, if we can use less cellulose for the conversion of biofuel, our Vice Chancellor, sir, because of his busy engagement with me. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you so Just announce the post registrants who come on this. I request the participants to go on my right hand side 
for elastic kind of mean mine will have been fine so that the earth will be clearly visible when they go Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming to my lecture. And uh, I also want to express my uh, thanks to the public of Michael Biden, the uh, M and P University, the Edinburgh in Doha, and uh, also thank to Professor Shukra for his kind of reading. Uh, the theorems of my lectures uh, have a title: uh, the counter. Challenges in commercial production of stenomorphic ethanol. I will in this uh, uh, lecture now give you a uh, concept of the stenomorphic biorefinery. I also uh, will, I will also introduce uh, the process, the inlines, uh, the computing process, and the products from the stenomorphic biorefinery. Mainly on the basis of my uh, work, work and research here. Uh, this is the first lecture I an uh, introduction to the symbols by the family. Uh, first, I will be a uh, short uh, self introduction to myself and uh, to my school. Uh, my name is Liu Paul. Liu is my family name. Paul is my dear man. Uh, in Chinese, sometimes Paul is good. <laughs> yeah. I have a uh, long term uh, working and research experience uh, 
in the field of biorefinery. Uh, I have been working in the United States in the University of Wisconsin at the Madison for two years. A participation uh, US government is working the program on the Woody, Woody pre-treatment and the Woody biorefinery. Uh, uh, I visited the Germany, uh, the RWTH after university uh, in the year 2015. And then I moved to Hong Kong, uh, stayed in Hong Kong Polytechnic University and the uh, uh, State University of Hong Kong uh, for over uh, nine years, one year. Okay. I stayed in Hong Kong uh, working on the fire factory of urban, urban waste, uh, especially as a uh, waste of clothes, waste of textile waste. Uh, now I'm working in the uh, South China University of Technology. Uh, this university is located in uh, Guangzhou, China. Guangzhou is a very beautiful city in China. It is in the South China. Uh, very hot. Um, cooler, cooler than in India. Okay. Uh, we have a very beautiful campus. We have two lakes and uh, uh, many old buildings. Uh, in my school, uh, we have many uh, five star leaders. The first one is uh, architecture. Uh, everyone knows that the, in China held the uh, world exposure in the year 2010. And the China's uh, the building representing China as a crown of business. It was uh, first uh, designed by a professor in my school. We also have another um, five star leader. It is uh, Boston Materials. I introduced the proposition and now this week um, made the LED material um, not only from the only but also from the nickel uh, nickel fibers and like uh, cellulose. We also have some uh, special fibers uh, for the uh, China uh, China made uh, large aircraft. The third five star maker is a part of the paper engineering. Uh, my lab uh, belongs to the the government of power and the people of the world. The first uh, uh, high speed uh, information line uh, was made in China in the year uh, 2012, and uh, it, was, uh, it, was built, uh, it was designed and uh, partially built in my in, 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 in our school. Uh, this is uh, a picture of our state technology, power and the people of the world. It is the only state technology in this period in China. Uh, it's, um, uh, in the top three uh, rank in the world, um, the, in the field of cellulose and the cellulose biofamily, uh, published by the Web of Science uh, in the last year. This is my research group. Uh, I have a two research assistant of mine, uh, is a graduated uh, from this school. Uh, his name is a police uh, Another research assistant from Hong Kong, Chinese University, is not that. Uh, I also have a short term uh, visitor, uh, Dr. Ravi, in uh, 1999. Uh, he's also a PhD student graduated from this school. Uh, I have three other, uh, five other students. Um, I will also welcome uh, students from this school, from the Alpha University. Uh, visit China to visit my school. Um, next uh, uh, August, I will also uh, open a short conversation for one month's visit uh, to my lab. Now let's uh, start the, uh, the lecture about the Biden family. Okay. Um, now this, uh, we are all living in the world uh, built up uh, on the basis of oil refinery. Uh, all in the family supplies us tens of thousands of products uh, for our daily life, uh, such as the natural gas and the uh, gasoline for running the car and uh, chemicals, vacuum chemicals, uh, proportion and the uh, plastic film for creating the vegetables and the uh, plastic packaging for uh, constructing a computer and also clothes. However, the development of uh, oil fabric uh, bring 
uh, has a lot of problems. The most uh, big problem, uh, the problem is uh, uh, the environment of pollution. Yes. Uh, there is oil leak. Uh, I did a uh, newspaper uh, yesterday. Uh, there is heavy uh, oil leak in Cuba. Um, it will kill a lot of uh, uh, litigants in the ocean. And uh, they also suffer the uh, gasoline. Especially the salt oxide and the carbon oxide. And the plastic greenhouse, you know, uh, in China, the other part in China, uh, highly depends on the build up of greenhouse made of uh, uh, plastics. After three years, two or three years, it, it, it cannot be used anymore, so it becomes a white waste. And uh, it is very difficult to, uh, to, to be degraded naturally. And uh, we also have the synthetic dyes for the textile industry and the paper making industry. And these dyes are toxic and causes uh, many cancer and lymphoma. And uh, it's very difficult to uh, uh, deal with the difference. And the chemical factory influence, such as the form I uh, read uh, some news and online about the chemical pollution. It influences uh, with the homes in, in, in Indian rivers. So the problems are uh, related from the oil refinery that cause a lot of problems uh, in the environment and our health. Another question is that the uh, oil business is sometimes not stable. Uh, the price, okay, the price of oil is not stable. It arises sometimes because of political reasons and the uh, company by war. And uh, the, uh, sometimes it's a uh, bit of a okay, from a high point to a very low point, uh, especially the year uh, 2040. I established uh, uh, my first symbiosis. At my end of production line, at the end of the year, uh, 20 to uh, 20s, 20 20s, about the price of oil up, uh, from 100 US dollars to 30 US dollars, and then I product to mine at 200 US dollars because of the, uh, because of the, there's no benefits from this, uh, from this industry. So that's why we have to uh, develop the biorefinery. Because uh, my first reason is the biorefinery is, is used by this uh, uh, agriculture and the movie very various waste. Uh, and sometimes we also use uh, and the algae, uh, algae waste, and the shrimp, the, the shell from the shrimp. Okay. Uh, this farm is uh, full of uh, polysaccharides. They can be uh, uh, they can be optimized uh, to simple sugars, and this sugar, uh, simple sugars can be fermented. They are fermented to a lot of different products, uh, such as the fuels, fuels including the bioresource and the ethanol, and the solvents, uh, especially the butanol and ethanol. As the bubble chemicals like the sucrose and the fine chemicals like the metallic uh, acid, uh, it was um, last month I get a new project. Uh, New project of, um, from cellulose to the metallic acid, um, mainly uh, this on the mainly this on the uh, process of inline, no chemicals, only inline to uh, to convert the cellulose uh, to the metallic acid. A lot of inlines they work together, and uh, uh, the modern biochemical accounts for uh, the virus, such as the bacterial cellulose. I will show you the pictures. And the plastics, plastics is as a replacement of the uh, oil plastics, uh, like the lactic acid isomers. <coughs> and the biorefinery, the most important, um, the most important parts are production, separation, and uh, biochemics and fermentation. Okay, so we 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 are going to. Uh, so a lot of problems after the forecast. And for my country, there are uh, 
you have uh, three generations at the uh, divisions. Uh, the first generation was built uh, on the basis of uh, starch and uh, sugar and oil crops. Uh, from the sugar crops, we have uh, sugar jam, sugar beet, and uh, sucrose, which is heavily influenced in plants. And then the uh, sucrose can be fermented by uh, saccharose and listed to ethanol. And this ethanol uh, was now widely used in the world, especially in Brazil. In the United States and now in China. In China, uh, in, uh, in this year, our government uh, published a new rule that all the gasoline, uh, there should be 10% of uh, absolute ethanol in the gasoline state. And we also have the oil cost for the first generation uh, by, by the bill. And uh, the oil, the plant oils, is extracted uh, from the uh, crops and uh, from, from the seeds, uh, such as the sunflower seeds. Then it was dynamically uh, transversible and we used uh, some new lines uh, to the biodiesel. The biodiesel then uh, was added into the conventional diesels to make a fuel. Um, when we find that all of them are uh, Highly related with our food, with our with animal species. So, to reduce the competition of the bio, uh, bioenergy and the food industry, uh, the second generation uh, by, at the refinery plant will be uh, on the basis of the utilization of the lithium cellulose. Um, we have a lot of lithium cellulose materials, such as uh, tree, the tree leaves, the tree branches. These are and as uh, generally used as a waste for burning for combustion. Okay. The second generation burning pathway uh, was uh, mainly uh, highly dependent on the sugar platform. Uh, the sugar platform means uh, the, all the polysaccharides was uh, used to force the conversion to sugar, simple sugar, uh, fermentable sugars. Uh, then the sugars are uh, uh, fermentable for other chemicals, other products. Uh, including the fuels, uh, including the chemicals and the materials. Uh, there will be residues from the sugar plant from all of the residues um, together with the division. Division is not under the land of the oil, it's made the land. Okay, they will combust, uh, combine and uh, combust, uh, combust the fire to a piece and how to generate different power. And sometimes, um, the, this process uh, was called the CPS as a uh, platform. Here I compare the first generation and the second generation by refinery. Uh, the uh, first one uh, starch to the stocks, it's almost pure, full of the starch, and then it is amorphous form. Uh, and the form of particle is very easy to be digested by microbes and the humans. About the cellulose is not, cellulose is not pure, uh, except for the form. Um, and uh, the, the normal, the pure, uh, the common cellulose material, like the uh, wood, like uh, the wood chips, like the grasses, uh, the content of cellulose is purely our searching for picture plants. Uh, it's not pure. Uh, combined with uh, heavy cellulose and uh, living, living of Unit comes for 26% of the dry weight. Uh, and the, the starch uh, uh, is very easy, so it's very easy to be digested, but cellulose is not easy. Uh, cellulose are uh, presented in the cell walls uh, in the form of mouse layers. And sometimes, uh, usually, cellulose is a, a highly crystalline uh, to be bundled. And the, this bundles uh, in fact, it's infected by the and can be cellulose matrix. So it is not easy to be uh, converted by the And uh, uh, if we use the starch, um, there will be a problem in uh, the conversion world uh, to deal with the food and the feed industry. Uh, the result is that uh, the price of food. Um, of leaves and 
or well, <coughs> got arises because of the uh, consumption of the starch material. But the samples of the first part of the record is better. Uh, if we use the wood chips, it's not good because it will continue with the paper industry. Uh, if we use the uh, powders, we will use the glasses, it's, it's better. Okay? And uh, some other materials like bamboo, like uh, sugar and glass. Uh, now, uh, they are <coughs> uh, only a part of them are uh, using it for paper products. Okay. However, uh, the beauty up of the second the generation of biorefinery is uh, highly dependent on, uh, relies on the facilities of the fourth generation biorefinery. For example, um, you play there with the fermentation sugar. Okay, the fermentation is uh, the yeast, the distillation of ethanol to absolute ethanol. Okay, uh, and uh, the combustion of the slot. Uh, we can share the same facilities. Um, particle starch and the, uh, particle the distillation of ethanol, there will be a question. Okay. Uh, the plants, for any ethanol plant, we want the uh, starting ethanol content in the box, in the fermentation box, is uh, as high as 10% of ethanol concentration. Uh, it is uh, not a big problem for starch uh, because the uh, uh, degrees of starch uh, we can dissolve, we can be separated, uh, separate, we can separate in water. But not really for little cellulose, it's a big challenge. Uh, here's the first, my first question why? Uh, why for little cellulose material? Uh, it is not easy to obtain fermentation flows. Uh, the ethanol content higher than 10%. Mm -hmm. We are discussing that. Now we uh, also have the, the new concept of the third generation of biofamily. It is mainly based on the use of LG. I will define that. Is a uh, Now it is a uh, very commercial by the uh, chemical way and uh, also by the simple chemical way. So a lot of different products like hydrogen, like ethanol, high gas, and uh, electricity power. In this picture, I uh, showed the uh, the research results in my lab. First, I did the dry seaweed as a biomedical material, the dry seaweed. Mm -hmm. uh, then I use the enzyme, cellulase, to digest the pollution in the seaweed. Then it will turn to be a gel slurry. Then I use the panel in my lab. Uh, in a few seconds, it is going to be liquid. I was uh, trying to test, I uh, was trying to test it to um, crystallize it to a very pure chemical. Uh, let's can, uh, can make a conclusion of the uh, same generations of fire and time. It's grains in all the cells. How you can use the laser pointer? This part, yes. The grains are uh, sample and algae. Uh, the availability of living cells is very common. You see it there. And for algae, now the production is not as high as a uh, grains of cells. And the cost, uh, the cost Algae and grains are mainly used for food, so the cost is very high. Uh, but the uh, cellulose is very cheap, not cheaper. And the uh, combination of grains and algae, uh, if we use these materials, there will be competition with food and heat in the food. Uh, if we use the uh, cellulose, uh, there will be competition with the food and chemistry uh, made for, uh, for uh, a ball from the 
Yes, in your mind, you look for the movie, the algae, and the movies. The movies is why you found the real ocean. So this is the inside. In your mind, to clear that. Yes, it has been much like. See the seaweed, I add it in the middle of the seaweed, and you can go around this one, yeah, this is the seaweed. Yeah, this is the seaweed. The second thing now, after the addition. In a few seconds, it's not good. This fine for the separation of uh, liquid and solid for, to make uh, a new field. A new field. So, Professor, should we take a short break? We can take, uh, you can continue two slides of lecture two. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Right. Because we can take 30 minutes and we will minus there on the next slide. We'll have a break around 11.30. <laughs> Hello. 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 The topic of the second lecture is about uh, celebrate part of the inline. Uh, most of the uh, commercial orders for inline uh, are from uh, North Times. North Times is a huge company that supplies for various kinds of uh, industrial inline. In the first part, I will explain the second way. So why it is so important in the second generation uh, iron refinery. Next, I will explain the mechanism of the uh, second way and uh, the factors that limit the uh, efficiency of second way. Uh, in the first part, I will um, so I will show you the second way supply by your plant. In the last part, I will uh, show some details. Uh, from my school, uh, what we did to surpass the North Times efficiency. So, uh, this diagram uh, <coughs> shows a uh, basic uh, process of the uh, second generation by refinery. So, the first part is uh, the treatment. The treatment is uh, thermal and chemical. Uh, process uh, reaction with uh, lithium cellulose uh, components such as lithium uh, and such as uh, cellulose uh, to remove the uh, cell of barriers to uh, expose the cellulose on the surface and to enrich the cellulose first content. Uh, so that's the uh, inline digestibility uh, will be greatly increased. Then it comes to the analytic hydrolysis. Analytic hydrolysis uh, previously highly depend on the TRC, sediments, its name is sediments, and another uh, product as produced nitro. It produces uh, beta glucosides. These two uh, commercials uh, in line to work together. <coughs> Uh, with, this, with this process to convert all the cellulose to glucose. Then the sugars were uh, augmented by microbes to a lot of different products. Uh, so, so we can say that uh, the process of inline, the, the, the action of inline is very important. Uh, it provides us the platform chemical, the sugar. So why cellulose is uh, important? So uh, 
we can uh, start from the structure of cellulose. Cellulose is uh, totally different from starch, although they are both composed of uh, glucose. But cellulose are uh, highly uh, crystallized. Uh, they form a microfibril uh, from 24 to 36 glucose uh, gluten chains. Uh, this microfibrils sometimes are uh, discovered by uh, Zyloglutin. So there will be the amorphous reading. Amorphous reading is the initial, the initial uh, spot where the uh, cellulose attack. And uh, uh, in addition to cellulose, uh, in the uh, biomass cell wall, there are, there are a lot of living uh, and the uh, cellulose. And these two uh, components bind the uh, cellulose microfibrillar together. Okay. <clears throat> Especially in the beginning, it, uh, it is uh, it exists in the uh, it is, uh, a middle matter between two plant uh, cells, full of in the middle matter. So it will uh, cellulose and uh, attach to cellulose substrate. The first barrier is the living matter. And uh, from the point of view of the economy, uh, we find that uh, the cost of cellulase is uh, very high, uh, around 37 in the total cost of the cellulose cellulose ethanol. Uh, even if we use the uh, long time uh, product CTX3, CTX3 is now one of the most effective chemical cellulase. Uh, it takes only uh, 50. To grab um, to make the pump of absolute uh, If we use other uh, cellulase, it usually takes 200 over 200 kilograms uh, to make a pump of absolute ethanol. So, cellulase, uh, we use a, we need a large amount of cellulase, and the, so the price is very high. So that's why we have to deal with the problem of cellulose. cellulose. Next, uh, let's uh, take a look at the mechanism of cellulose. For well, commercial cellulose, um, like the previous cellulose I do, consists of uh, three different types of uh, water components, uh, including the extra. Uh, endoglutinase and the exoglutinase, they also call it as CDH, and the beta glucosidase. Uh, these are three types of uh, normal components they work together with uh, work synergistically. Syn 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 uh, in the initial stage, the endoglutinase is very strong, the amorphous region is. A cellulose microfibril either produce new, fresh, uh, reducing, reducing sugar, uh, reducing and the cellulose, cellulose chain. Then the CDH1, CDH1 cut off, cut off uh, cell bias, cell, uh, cell bias, okay, uh, from the reducing end. CDH2 uh, cut off the cell bias from the non reducing end. Okay. And then uh, you put the Cell bias accumulates into well, inhibits the action of the activity of these two lines. So we need the beta glucosidase to convert the cell bias uh, to a monosugar, mono so it's to glucose. The triple number VST cellulase contains at least two CDH, eight endoglutinase, and at least seven uh, beta glucosidase. However, um, the fermentation force, uh, the activity of the fermentation force is not sufficient, especially for the beta uh, glucosidase. So we have to supplement, supplement it with the aspergillus uh, micro beta uh, glucosidase. So you, you can use the uh, Completely common of cellulose to break down the cellulose 
we can get a lot of pictures like this. This, this pictures are from a comic book map store. Uh, I did this a lot uh, about 10 years, 9 years ago. Uh, you know, and usually we can uh, find the uh, cellulose microfibrils like this. Uh, then, after I do apply to the cellulose uh, for six hours, okay, the uh, microfibrils are uh, good enough, okay, they're good enough, they're not good. Uh, after 12 hours, uh, they become to uh, low light, uh, show low light, not impact. Uh, the after one day, after two days, uh, 24 hours, uh, the, there's no uh, microfibrils. Uh, but here, the particles, these particles are high crystal density index. I also observed that the cellulase, uh, cellulase in my particles, in my particles, Bind on the surface of microfibrils, on the surface of cellulose. And if we use a special technique, we can see the uh, experience different colors. The protein in cellulose is a dark color, and this dark color the cellulose is a light color. Uh, so, uh, so The structure of the, uh, of the cellulose contents, uh, we take the CPH1 as a model. CPH1 uh, contains three models. The first model is the uh, um, candidate to the man. Candidate to the man, uh, there are four uh, key amino acids. Okay, this is uh, active sites, uh, cellulose chains, or the car. And there's a link between the candidate uh, to the man. CBM uh, means the cellulose bonding model. Uh, you bind on the surface of cellulose in some trees. It has other functions. Uh, it helps the imine absorb on the surface. Uh, then the pain trees to the uh, inside of the microfibrils and uh, it will help uh, to break down the uh, can to help the penetration of water molecules uh, inside and uh, form a new water bridge to uh, clear the hydrogen bonding between the cellulose. Uh, Just a very small point. Okay. Okay. And we will stop it here because we need to break for the tea. Okay. And uh, before we go on break, uh, we can inculcate some discussion like uh, the cellulose microplastics. Okay. Because uh, can we observe these microplates uh, during uh, electron microscopy or okay. 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 Can we see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just some here. Okay. So, if you have queries or suggestions or anything which you want to ask, you can have in the next uh, five to ten minutes. Okay. Then we will start continue this lecture at eleven thirty. Yes. Yes. You can ask. They will have some queries and suggestions or something like that. Hello, sir. Introduce yourself. Yeah. Okay, yeah. first and then. Myself, Dr. Richa Arora. I'm assistant professor in London Professional University. Um, first of all, sir, I would like to thank you for such a nice presentation. Um, sir, I have a few queries. First is your talk about cellulosic pilot plant, which you have established. Um, cellulosic pilot plant. Cellulosic pilot plant. Permitted, permitted. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, sir, uh, uh, for cellulose production, cellulose production. No, no, not for cellulose. It's for ethanol production. Cellulose is pilot plant for ethanol production. You're talking about in your first lecture. Oh, in your first lecture. Yeah. Okay. You want to see the I would just like to know about the raw material. Which cellulose material you have used? This is the most first lecture. Yeah. In the first presentation, we talked about it. Yeah, when you were just introducing to the biorefinery. Yes, biorefinery, yes. Huh. In there, you have talked about. This one? This one? Uh, you want to say what No, you shared your experience. In that. My experience? Yeah. You said okay. uh, you have worked on cellulosic uh, pilot plant for the production of ethanol. This one? 